everyone. This is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today I have a new package from paintplot.com. So you guys have seen my recent videos on paintplot. I also have exclusive videos on the paintplot website. So be sure to check those out. They might actually be listed on their blog, but I do know that they are there somewhere. So let's open this package and see what we have today. So I have two paint by number kits, yay! And I hate to see that the package companies are doing this to our beautiful boxes. Do you see how they've smashed these kits? And Paint Plot takes every precaution sending their packages out. So you know this has happened in transit. I have never been more disappointed in package systems. And I understand the pandemic has really got people strapped in their businesses for package delivery. But I'm telling you, whatever happened to handling items with care, I have no idea. Because both of these are smashed. But I'm going to be confident and say that the contents are just fine. And we're going to check that out to see. Okay, so I'm super excited because I opened the box with one of the paintings and the mini detail brush set that they carry at their site is in here and I've been dying to try this mini brush set. So I'm super excited. So I want to point out that this little set has an eight slash zero shader, which is kind of like a flat brush, but it's not totally flat. It's got a point at the end, but um, I still love it. And this one is a 16 slash zero spotter. We also have a 16 slash zero round and a 16 slash zero liner with an eight slash zero angled spotter brush. So I know for a fact, I'll be testing out these paint brushes very, very soon. Let's look at our kits and you know, I'm gonna swatch the paints. That's kind of what this whole video is more about because you guys have seen me bring you the newest paint plot kits uh, in videos recently. So I'm not gonna go through like all the contents and everything, but I am gonna take a look at each canvas and the paints and I'm gonna swatch them for us. So that if you choose to order one of these two kits, you'll kind of know what to expect. So this painting is gonna be this image. Okay, so let's just go ahead and talk about really quickly. The reference guide is included the beautiful canvas with a great texture and a great weight, medium gray lines and numbers. Hallelujah. I love it. And our paints. So story time with Melanie. Why did I choose this kit? I got a little story for you guys. Many of you who are on my group and my Patreon remember that my father was put into a nursing home by my eldest sister against his will and against my mother's will. And I was banned from seeing him because she decided that it was hard for him when mom and I came to visit. Now she did not ban my other sister and my other two brothers from seeing him, just my mother, his wife of 63 years and his youngest daughter, which would be me. If you guys have not seen the movie, I Care A Lot on Netflix, that is exactly the situation that happened in my family. So I want to bring awareness to that movie and I'm gonna come back at a later date and we're gonna talk about the severity of that situation. So, in that movie, it was a complete stranger who was doing this to these people. But in our family, it was my own sister. Well, when my dad was finally put into hospice, my mother and I were allowed to visit. So we only got to see him the last two weeks of his life. And we could only go a few times because my mother is elderly. She's in her mid eighties. She's in a wheelchair. She's got some health issues now because of all of this stress and trauma from what my sister has done for the last three years. And my father was placed in a hospice that's about an hour and a half away from us. 
So it took a lot to prep to get to go. And I don't have a vehicle for myself, so I was having to use my mother's van. And the deal, of course, is if I'm using her van, I'm gonna take her with me. So we went to see my dad a few times. The last day of our visits, my sister would not leave the room. She refused because she said, dad is on his last leg. He's going to die in the next 24 hours, probably. So we sat there all in the same room, which was very difficult and uncomfortable and awkward. And interestingly enough, there was a red cardinal that was flying up outside the window of my dad's hospice room. So he had a view and it was a very rural area. And so he had this really pretty little patio out of, out of his window, but he was not physically able to get up and go out there. But this cardinal was flying up sitting on the back of a chair and looking into my father's window. Well, the irony of that is behind the cardinal was a bird feeder. And that cardinal did not fly to that bird feeder. He did not fly to eat. He flew to sit on the back of that chair and look at my father through his window. And he did it every day for about a week, according to my sister. Well, you guys who know me, know that my oldest son passed away seven years ago when he was 23. And I am convinced that my father saw my son. My dad was staring up in the corner of the room, mumbling several different times. And my sister said that she asked him, Daddy, are you talking to Logan? And dad just kind of looked at her. Well, I don't know who that was that was the symbol of the Cardinal. It could have been his mother, it could have been his father, it could have been his brother or sister. But in my heart, I believe that it was my son waiting for his grandfather because they were super, super close. We live on the same property. My sons used to help my dad plant trees and work on the, on the yard. And I mean, anything my dad needed, they were there to help him. And so they were very close. My son's death came after my dad had been deemed incapacitated from some brain surgery and some other medical situations. And then he also had the onset of dementia at that time. So he didn't remember that Logan was deceased. So once in a while, he would ask, where's Logan? And I got to the point where I would just tell him, oh, he's at work. Because I didn't want to break my dad's heart over and over again. So. Anyway, the day before my father died, I'm sitting there watching this cardinal fly up and look at my dad in the window. And I knew that was gonna be it. Not because of the cardinal, but my dad was in horrible shape. He was not able to eat. He had sepsis from, from diverticulitis. And the sepsis was so bad that the, and his health was so bad that the doctors couldn't, couldn't operate and repair. So, he had stopped eating about a week before, and um, physically, he was just a shell of a man. And I knew it was gonna be our last visit. So when I saw this Cardinal on Paint Plot's website, I reached out to Beck, and she is the sister of one of the owners and she sent me this painting so I could paint this for my mom. My mom loves birds and especially cardinals. And it's really strange because since my father died, my niece, who wasn't with us that day and doesn't know the story so much about the cardinal, she painted my mom a little freehand canvas of a cardinal and put it on my mom's shelf where she sits and watches TV so she can see it. And I just thought that was so weird because... I feel like my dad is now going to show himself as a cardinal. Now, I have seen a turkey <laughs> a few times, <laughs> but I've made, it's made me wonder if, if he's a cardinal or a turkey, because my dad was a goofball. Like, he was super witty and funny, and his favorite thing before he got taken out of the home and put into a nursing home was he'd sit in the sunroom of their house and look in the backyard, which was they lived on 250 acres um, and there was a feeder that we had put down there for deer and turkey and whatever just so my parents could sit there 
and look out the glass and see the turkey and the deer feeding on that feeder. So my dad, every single day before he got taken out of the home, he watched for turkey, he watched for deer and whatever he could find. So sometimes I wonder, cause I've seen turkey in really kind of strange places lately. Uh, I've been like, okay, pop, are you a turkey or a cardinal? But anyway, the fact that the cardinal came to visit him the last week of his life just seems super symbolic. So that is what this painting is. Sorry, that long story was a long story. And we're gonna swatch the paints because there, you know, there's a lot of reds. So reds can be tricky with their opacity. So you know how I'm gonna do. I'm always gonna do that though. All right, so let's look at our next canvas and I don't think there's a story. So I'm gonna try to be quick about that one. Okay, so this painting is this one. All right, now you guys know how I love the Aframov pieces. And I suspect this is an Aframov piece, but I'm not real sure, but it's got that vibe. So you guys know I'm all over it. It also has the reference guide. The palette, you guys, on this is so beautiful that I hope these paints will swatch properly because I know lime greens and yellows and oranges and reds and all the colors that I love can be such a pain in the butt to paint with. But we're gonna test it. And I am not gonna jump to negative conclusions because you know how I roll. And so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go swatch these paints and I'm coming back. I promise, I'm coming back. And we're gonna talk about what my findings were for these two kits in case you love them and you want to go get them yourself. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I have swatched both sets of these paints and we're gonna talk about each one separately. So this one's for the Cardinal. I was a little worried at first because there are so many reds and deep oranges in this. I wasn't sure how these were gonna swatch, but I will say that the light colors are gonna probably be an issue. Number two and number seven look exactly the same. They're both very transparent. They're both whites, but this seven has a hint, a tiny, tiny hint of like a reddish orange in it. So, um, but these are gonna be two that I'll have to replace. And I don't know what it is about white in our paint kits, because most of the time, the titanium white that you can buy, you know, Liquitex brands or other brands that aren't even very expensive, they're usually opaque. Anyway, the only other one that looks like it might be an issue is gonna be this light tan. So again, it might be that the base of their lighter colors is the same base, and because it's the same base, it's gonna cause the same problems, which means less opacity. But that's gonna be a beautiful piece. Now that I've got it out of the package, let me just kind of flip it over and show you. I do have two of number one, which is gonna be that background, but what a gorgeous palette this is. Very warm. And again, a warm palette usually means that I'm not gonna get great opacity, but these ended up turning out very beautiful. This one was a little bit more of a struggle because I've got my rainbow palette, I guess. And I think this is one of their older kits because I had my eye on this for, you know, probably at least a year. And I wonder if this one has the newer paints. I'm not sure, but they just brought this one back. It just came back into stock. I immediately wanted this one. So let's look at this one because it does have this like, you know, very wide range of colors. I smeared the first two myself, but let's talk about the ones that don't have good coverage. Um, number two and number three, number five and number seven, those are all transparent and they're all yellows. And I know we've gone through this so many times, but it's like, what is it? The yellows just do not give us great coverage. It's frustrating, I know. Right here I messed up and I accidentally painted number 17 twice, so I ended up having to put 18 over here. 18's another one, and it's yellow, and it's transparent to, to, to semi-opaque. It's somewhere in between. 24 is the same way. It's kind of that golden yellow, so it might just be something that they need to work on, maybe on their, getting their yellows to be a little bit more opaque. And a lot of times, just adding a tiny bit of white can fix that problem to the paint. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope this has been a helpful video and that you enjoyed these paintings because I love bringing my new paintings to you guys. 
thank you as always for watching and I will see you back soon.